All right, I've got this old uh, Centronix uh, splitter for television. Uh, it has a uh, 40 megahertz to 860 megahertz uh, this direction and 950 to 2 gigahertz this direction. So uh, I put them on my um, my VNA to sweep them out, and you can see here that they uh, uh, the high pass, low pass cross over around 900 megahertz, uh, which would make sense. So the uh, the 860 is still on the flat spot of the low pass, and the 950 is on the flat spot of the high pass, and 900s in the middle where the where the two cross. So I thought what we do today is we open it up and see how these things are designed inside, and uh, see how they do the uh, the duplexing, right? Uh, so uh, these are 75 ohm. These are F connectors um, made in China. Now I've already kind of got a little hole over here on the side so I can get a lip of a screwdriver under here to take, take the bottom off. It's not soldered on. It's just pressed in there. And this is just cast metal. This is stamped. Um, and there's a PC board in there. And... Mm, yeah, we can't really quite see much, so let's uh, take some screws up. Oops, sorry. I'm going to be in the way here. Let me take the screws out and I'll come back. All right, there we go. So the screws are out. Eight of them. No, yeah, eight of them. Eight? Or ten, not eight. They didn't put the side ones in. I don't know why they didn't put ten in, but they could have. Uh, but we've got eight. And it still won't come out. I need to desolder the F connectors. And then I think this thing will come out. See if we can't get some solder out of here. Hmm. I don't think that really worked quite the way I thought it was going to. My solder sucker is starting to fill up. And Oops. It moved on me. Trying to get away. Hmm. Okay. I think that's all we need to do. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I have a tool for this. Under the board. there we go. Get on the board, get it out. If you don't have a set of picks, they're they're quite handy. These are these are Harbor Freight ones. These are like just super cheap. But when you need them, you need them. All right, let's take a look at it. All right, we've seen this side. It is a. Uh, U21 20005. Oh, and on this side we got some inductors, so and a lot more capacitors. Single-sided board with some jumpers. Yeah, so just an LC network. And uh so these are marked 2.2, these are marked 1.2, 502. Yeah, interesting. So maybe we should reverse engineer this. Reverse engineer this thing. Trace it out. Sure, why not? Huh? Nothing else to do today. I'm waiting for a waiting for an email, making an offer on a thing on Craigslist. So see if I can get it or not. Uh, Twenty-five picoseconds oscilloscope. <laughs> 
Hopefully I'll be able to get it. All right, there's the schematic. Um, I've drawn it kind of a strange way because it needs to be. Um, there are um, traces that are inductors. So uh, this long trace here is, is this inductor. And there's a very skinny trace here that's this inductor. And so the traces come in three different widths. I call them one, two, three, and four. So single width, double width, triple, and quadruple. So this one's just a um, <clears throat> this one's just a transmission line. So th that one's not an inductor. There are some wound inductors, but then there's this real skinny inductor, and a fairly skinny one goes across. This is a this is a two here also. So two, two. This one's fatter. Three. So this is the 440 to 860, comes through a thousand puff, and then there's a uh, one puff at the end, and half a puff, and then a 2.4, and then these inductors in, in, in series. So inductor to ground, inductor in series, inductor in series, inductor in series, then these capacitors to ground, and then it comes out with a 560 puff. And then the uh, high frequency section comes through these little guys here, the 1.2, 1.5s. And there's a, uh, a really, really skinny little inductor here that goes to a 2.2 picofarad. So anyway, somebody wants to model that. Here you go. And uh, that's a little, it's a little more interesting than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be all, all just lumped elements, but it does have uh, PC board elements as well, even at these low frequencies. So yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, before we go, there was one other thing that I learned uh, taking this apart. You always learn something taking things apart. And that is how this PC board was mounted. There's a notch here, a notch here, and a notch here, so that when you, when you put it in... Uh, so normally, if the, if the connectors were laying on the top, you, uh, it, goes, it goes in like this, right? Uh, so that it goes actually in like this. So if the, if the conductors are on top single-sided board and you solder them down, there's no way to get it out. <laughs> and so these slots allow you to insert it in so the pins of the connectors go through these slots and then once it's in there then you can solder them down and that, so that was a clever idea I'm, i might have to use that sometime <laughs>